how to create a simple hello world file, maybe your first file in Java with BlueJ. So first of all, you have to open BlueJ under Windows 7 and press the start menu. BlueJ and BlueJ opens. And before you can create a new class or a new Java program, you have to create a new project. This is done by pressing project, new project, and we call our project hello world and we store it in the de uh, on the desktop you may store it on another drive or somewhere else um, let's start on the desktop create and what you see now is that bluej created a new folder for us we can have a look at the folder there's some package information that bluej needs some readme information um, but we don't care about that now Okay, now to create a new class, our Hello World class, we have to press New Class, type in Hello World as the class name, press OK, and you see our new Hello World class appeared here. And what happens in the file system, you can see we have a new file, Hello World.java here. Okay, now to edit our new file to create our program we have to double click it and we now reach the editor bluej created some kind of template code for us um, which is nice but on the other hand very often you just don't need it so for the time being I recommend just to de delete it you can for example press ctrl A um, to mark everything and then backspace to delete it um, now let's write our hello world class, public class, hello world, please make sure that this name, hello world, is the same as this name here, otherwise you run into trouble. So this is our class hello world, you can see that BlueJ applies what we call syntax highlighting. So public is a Java keyword. It has a different color than our class name, which is black. And class is another very important keyword in Java, and it has a red color. This way you can, in a way, also easily detect if you misspelled something, which usually would lead to a syntax error. Now let's have a look. Um, in order to create an executable program in Java, we have to create a so-called main function, public static void main, and the main function takes some arguments that we don't care, care about for the time being, we will have a look at it maybe later. Um, so this is how the main function looks like, and every main function looks like this. Uh, and if you want to create an executable Java program, you have to provide a main function exactly like this. So now let's print hello world. In order to print something in Java, we use system.out.println. We will learn later um, what this actually means, this line. For the time being, we just want to print out hello world. So that is our program. And what we have to do now in order to execute it is to compile it. In order to do so, we press compile. Compile means the file will be saved. Here, this message tells us, yes, no syntax error, class is compiled, everything's fine. And now, as you can see here, we find the hello world.class in our folder. So this is automatically generated by BlueJ. Now, how do we execute it? So in BlueJ, what we do, we now do a right mouse click on hello world. What we want to do is we want to execute our program. We do it by executing the main method. So that means we select main, left mouse button, here we don't write anything, we just keep it as it is, we press OK, and hello world, as you can see, is executed. Now I see something, OK, I forgot 
closing bracket for my nice smiley. I go back to my editor, add what I want to add, change what I want to change. Now what happens is I have to compile again. So you will see if I don't compile again. Uh, I cannot run it even because BlueJ recognizes that I changed my program without compiling it. So I need to compile it first. No syntax error. Now you see the the rectangle changed. I can execute my void main and now I've got the, the right smiley. Perfect. Just to demonstrate you briefly um, what is actually happening, we can do all this on the command line as well. So I'm closing BlueJ now. I go to my desktop, I go to my hello world directory. Now let me first delete all class files here. Uh, delete. Uh, see no class file here as well. When BlueJ compiled the code, it actually used the Java compiler, um, which is Java C for Java compile. Java C takes a file name like hello world of Java and now it compiled. As you can see, we've got hello world class and when BlueJ executed um, the Java file, it used a program called Java. And Java takes the name of a, of a class where a main method is implemented and we have a main method in, in our hello world. Java hello world and voila, it executed. So you've now created your first file with BlueJ. And if you click on that package here, BlueJ would fire up automatically and you would go back to your hello world file.